Welcome to our JavaScript Essentials course. In this course, we're going to be showing you how to learn and how to apply the basic functionality of JavaScript, essentially how to get you coding with JavaScript quickly. My name is Lawrence, and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to present this course to you today. I've been building web applications since 1999, so I come to you with a lot of experience with web applications and especially with JavaScript. I've been using it uh, for almost 18 years and I really truly find it that it's an amazing coding language. It's super flexible and it really does provide you all of the avenues that you do need in order to create some amazing things within your web applications. So it gives you the ability to create some dynamic capabilities uh, within your HTML and also within your CSS. So one of the prerequisites of this course is a basic knowledge and understanding of HTML because we're not going to be reviewing any HTML in this course and also CSS does help as well when you're creating your web applications. So this is just predominantly JavaScript and coding of JavaScript. So we're going to be teaching you the essential concepts of how to code and program using JavaScript. JavaScript is essentially an object-based scripting language. It's lightweight, works across multiple platforms. All you need to do in order to run JavaScript is have a browser, and JavaScript runs directly within the browser, so there's no compiling of JavaScript code, and basically the same as HTML and CSS, all it needs is the browser. So once you create a file that has JavaScript in it, whether it's an HTML file or an HTML file linking to a JS file, you're able to render it out. The browser basically knows what to do with it. And this is the same as HTML and CSS. And along with HTML and CSS, JavaScript is one of the cornerstones of the World Wide Web. Almost every website will have JavaScript on it, and it does provide that dynamic, interactive capability that users are expecting. And you can really achieve quite a lot with just a few lines of JavaScript. Uh, again, JavaScript is an interpreted language, so basically that just means that it renders out in your browser. So you don't need a lot of resources in order to write JavaScript code. So the barrier to entry and the barrier to get started with JavaScript is really easy. It's really straightforward. And you probably already have the tools necessary in order to write JavaScript right on your computer right now. And if you don't, I've provided some links within this course as well. The editor that I'm using within the course is Atom.io. You don't have to use that one if you already have a way to create HTML files, then you're set and ready to go. If you want to check out something new or you want to try out what I'm using, I'm going to be using Atom.io. And the only other resource that you do need is a browser, which you probably already have if you're watching this course. And I do recommend Chrome because it does have dev tools. So it does have that added enhancement and that capability to interact with your JavaScript code. So really, there's no excuse to get started writing JavaScript code. And you're going to be surprised at how easy it is. I'm going to show you within this course where to have JavaScript within your HTML to connect that HTML and JavaScript together within that one file. Uh, also, how to do debugging in JavaScript. So this is an important part of coding that you're uh, able to debug any errors that come up. And JavaScript is really easy to do that. It provides you actually the errors. So if there's something wrong with the JavaScript code, you're going to be able to see it within the console. And that way, you can take a look at those error messages and fix those within your source code. There's also comments. Uh, these, this is another important part of programming because it allows you to document and reference what you're doing within the programming. We're going to be looking at the different data types within JavaScript, and this is really important foundation for learning to code. Because understanding the way that JavaScript and programming languages handle data is really important. And there's three main types of data types that are going to be used often within coding and the more popular strings and numbers and then booleans and booleans have a special uh, capability uh, that we're going to look at later as well so there's javascript variables they give us the ability to hold values within javascript and then use them within our programming languages there's a few other data types that we're going to quickly look at so undefined and null uh, and we can also find out what type of data type it is by typing type of 
Next, we're going to look at ways to manipulate that, that data. So once we've got them in variables, once we've assigned those values, we can work with them and manipulate them and uh, essentially do some computation on them. Uh, there's ways to uh, quickly assign values to those variables. So these are assignment operators. Uh, we've also got arithmetic operators. So this gives you the ability to essentially work with numbers and make some calculations, so computations, and return back those uh, rendered results. And then there's also comparison operators. So these are where those booleans come in and uh, basically it gives us the ability to compare two values and make an assessment whether it's true or false. And with computers and computer languages, this is an important part of getting started with programming. There's also logical operators, so they allow us to extend those conditions that we had looked at earlier and build upon those conditions to expand what we can do with those. Then we're going to also look at, so we looked at variables and we're going to look at objects. Objects that give us the ability to add multiple values and make use of multiple values within one variable, one basic container. There's arrays, a ton of stuff you can do with arrays, and an another way to hold a whole bunch of values within one variable. There's also conditionals. So this is where those conditional statements really come in useful as well as Booleans. So I'm going to be showing you how important it is to understand those and how easily you can work with those loops. Another core essential part of JavaScript saves you time, allows you to do repetitive coding uh, really quickly and easily. And there is a real theme when you are learning to code and that's to do it simply uh, the best way to code, the best code, is the most simplest way to accomplish what you're trying to do. And also, uh, also presenting that code in a neat, fashionable manner so that it's more readable and provides you the ability to interact with it as well. So another core uh, part of JavaScript and programming are functions. And functions basically allow you to execute chunks of code and I'm going to be going over how you can use this to your advantage to save you a ton of time building out content in JavaScript. We're also going to look at strings and string methods. So there's a lot of built-in methods in JavaScript. So a lot of things that JavaScript can do, all you have to do is call to write method and that's going to invoke those uh, that functionality. Such as things like the math and date provides that extended functionality within JavaScript. I do encourage you to practice along. I've included the source code along with the lessons uh, so that you could try it out for yourself and open up that editor, try out JavaScript. It really is easy to get started with and uh, the things that you can do with JavaScript as you progress and as you become more comfortable and familiar with the syntax is truly amazing. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. JavaScript is really the way to go and learning to, ja to code in JavaScript opens up a lot of doors when it comes to web applications. So when you're ready, let's begin writing some JavaScript code. Welcome, in this lesson we're going to be going over what JavaScript is and essentially how it works. So JavaScript is an object-based scripting language. It's lightweight and works across platforms that lets you create interactive websites along with HTML and CSS. It's one of the three core technologies of the internet and content production online today. The majority of websites use JavaScript and all modern browsers support it without the need for any plugins. And basically, JavaScript is ready to go within any web browser. So essentially, JavaScript is only initially was only implemented client side in web browsers, and JavaScript engines now are embedded in other types of software, included server side databases and nod web programs such as processors and PDF software and in runtime environments that make JavaScript available for writing mobile and desktop applications including desktop widgets. So in terms of JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript or vanilla JS refers to JavaScript that's not been extended by any framework or additional libraries and that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at plain JavaScript code. 
And really with JavaScript, it's amazing what you can achieve with just a few lines of code. And JavaScript is also easy to get started with. It's an interpreted language, which basically means that you don't need to compile it. It's able to run directly in your browsers and render out and make something happen within your web applications. So in order to write JavaScript, uh, you only need two resources and uh, one of them is an editor, so somewhere to write out your code, just like HTML and CSS. And the other one is a, a way to render out that JavaScript. And JavaScript can be rendered out by a browser. So the same thing as HTML and CSS. All of these can be rendered out via the browser, so you don't need any additional tools other than a web editor or somewhere to write some code and then your browser in order to be able to see it. And in this course, and in the upcoming lessons, we're gonna be using Atom.io as our editor and Chrome as our browser.